Breaking news. PDP Presidency 2023. Southeast politicians are digging their grave. LT Jack Warriors wants. Hello, my wonderful people. What exactly is Jack talking about and why is he against a Southeast young man? Uh, coming on to become Nigerian's president. I mean, the Southeast is one of the areas that has seriously been deprived, marginalized. And um, today they have capable sons and daughters who could bring back the glory of what Buhari, especially Buhari's administration, has done to that region, so much so that the region has not had the opportunity to produce Nigerian's president or those in high position as it is. The Southwest and the North, the South, South has had the opportunity, but not the South East. Now, one Lieutenant Jack is saying that um, the South is, is digging its grave. How do you really mean? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. PDP Presidency 2023, South East politicians are digging your grave. Lieutenant Jack Warrior warns. The indigenous people of Biafra worry worldwide on independence, militants in Biafra land, a military and civilian watchdog have mounted their searchlight on the People Democratic Party stakeholders in the South East and South South. We are in all the countries of the East, no hiding place for our target victim. Jack Warrior, media and publicity indigenous Biafra warriors worldwide stated, signed and made available to the press on Saturday, April the 23rd, 2022. We have noticed that most interest uh, perceived conspiracy against the Southeast presidential aspirant in PDP, especially Mr. Peter Obi, who is most suitable and could become Nigerian's president, who we want to take on the leadership and we are going to support, whom Nigerians have seen as the most qualified aspirant that will genuinely fix the country. The established politicians in Southeast are set to sabotage Mr. Peter Obi. Pius, Aini, and Co, who are sons and daughters that could bring this nation back to its desired position. We are closely watching the body language of Governor Ikweazu and Governor Ifeiwa as they are leading the sabotage against the Southeast producing the next president of Nigeria. Can you believe that they are supporting people from other other zone instead of supporting Peter Obi, one of the most qualified persons. But one thing is very certain and inevitable in 2023, which is either South East produced the next president of Nigeria or Biafra is actualized by all means. We would not allow this, no in any way, form or kind. 2022 to 2023 will be the worst political outing. The corrupt politicians from Biafra land, especially Southeast politicians who should be speaking for the people because of blood flow. We are carefully collecting and monitoring the names of the sabotage. Those who those politicians who are working against Biafra and the restoration of our land now turning to work against the Southeast to produce Nigeria's next president. Bad enough, we've not actualized Biafra, but to also go ahead to sabotage the likes of Peter Obi, one of the most qualified candidates. And Pius, it is very absurd and we are watching. We're going to make sure this does not stand. We know many of you are working with Atiku, Abubakar, Mohammed Balam, Bukola Seraki, and Tabua in secret, yet you are from the South. Is what kind of a people are you? You should be working with your own. You should be working with those who are from your area to ensure the South East is no longer sabotaged. Yet you turn against your very own people. This is terrible and should not be allowed or condoled by our people. So the Biafra warriors are saying we are not happy, very unhappy with what is going on with um you know with the southeast because we can see that there are people who are trying to sabotage the opportunity of the southeast to produce Nigerians next president by the way if you take a close look okay a very close look at what is happening today you will understand what we mean and by the way 
if you look at all the presidential and potential candidates, you can see that Peter Obi stands a shoulder. Peter Obi and some other persons stand a shoulder above. Peter Obi, I mean, a proper man who has, you know, uh, uh, led before. It's not like those who are leading and are telling us to see what they've done and we can't see it. Peter Obi led. And by the time he was leaving office, you don't understand. Peter Obi led. He led an Anambra state. By the time this guy was leaving office, he left over 75 billion in the state treasury. Nigeria is at today. Who will get there and will not want to, you know, use, use Biro to say we did this prayer, we did that project and sabotage the money? The person who came right behind him, the person who, was, who, who, who succeeded him, that with his effort and all he did, gave a, a soft landing so that they could possibly, okay, so that the, the states could be better. That person left 400 billion and more in debt for the state. Now you spot the difference. You spot the difference. Do the math yourself. Somebody came in, he left 400, um, 75 billion in credit for the state. You know, with the way Nigeria is, he could have done any other thing. And so Peter Obi is one person who has nominated himself to become Nigerian's president, doing everything humanly speaking possible to ensure that, you know, he, he, he redeemed the name of his father's land and bring back the people the honor. OK, and not just that, he's qualified, very qualified. A man who has led and, um, you know, with, with, with his antecedent, you know, patronized, made in Nigeria goods and what have you. A man who has given his, you know, his own, his own, uh, uh, his own weight, put in his own weight behind the people of the southeast, and um, by the time he left, he was he left a very in a very high note. He's saying, "Give me an opportunity to replicate such, okay, across the country." And guess what? Right within the mark, there are people from the southeast. And sadly, governors from the southeast, politicians from the southeast, who are trying to sabotage him. Welcome to Nigeria. There are genuinely people from the South is trying to sabotage all this. You see? I mean, it's clear that some of the South Easterners are trying to sabotage their own people. It's shocking, but it's the reality of what is on ground. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Remember, you've got a voice. Let's speak out against everything and anything that could potentially not move us forward. Okay? Uh, Peter Obi is a very good man and um, not because we want to say that his antecedent precedes him. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now.